Red Harvest was an alien film project largely known as Alien 5, a project to be directed by the man known as Neil Blomkamp, and a project that had a lot of support, a lot of intrigues, and a lot of potentials. However, eventually the project fell from its skyrocket to the big screen, instead falling into rumour and obscurity, as the Fox machine turned its cogs towards the second prequel film of Alien, which would eventually become Alien Covenant. So today I want to explore the what, the when, the who and the how, and why this project could never seemingly come to be. Let's take a journey back in time, shall we? The year is 2015, and at the dawn of this new year, on the 1st of January, Mr. Neil Blomkamp has an interesting statement to make. On the 1st, he released a collection of artworks pertaining to a yet unannounced project that seemed to be a part of the Alien franchise. The budding director was nearing the completion of his film Chappie, before seemingly creating an unsanctioned, as he put it, uh, alien project that Fox was not yet aware of, or aware that he was even creating. In the following months, Sigourney Weaver, who featured in the Chappie film, was interviewed, and during so, questioned on the plausibility of this new alien project by Blomkamp. It was in the same round of interviews that Blomkamp elaborated on his discussions with Sigourney Weaver about the very notion of following up on Ripley's character, and it would seem that he sparked her interest, getting her on board with the idea that her story was not yet complete, or else felt unfinished by the direction taken by the third and fourth entries into the Alien franchise, those being Alien 3 and Resurrection, two films that heavily divided the Alien community. And just a week later after these interviews on the 20th of February, Ridley Scott was labelled for a producer role for a yet unannounced Alien film. Obviously it had to be this new Alien project by Blomkamp. Fan excitement had begun to build at the potential for another Alien film. However, there were those opposed to the idea of a retcon, which is seemingly what was going to occur in this project. However, after Prometheus, Alien fans were clawing for any other alien that they could get. The 17th of July rolls around and Blomkamp again hints at the intentions of his film, with a new piece of concept artwork. This featuring Ripley, Hicks, and a futuristic looking Korean military, indicating to us that this would be a quite different take on the alien universe, whilst remaining in the realm of familiarity, by having our aliens crew make a return. As we move into the month of October in 2015, Blomkamp continues to hint, showing us a pulse rifle model and cluing us into exciting upgrades to the weapon in this project. This would be the fifth installment in the Alien Anthology films, so it would largely become known as Alien 5. However, the working title for the project would eventually be announced as Alien Red Harvest. By the end of the month though, bad tidings had already begun to plague the project. Red Harvest was seemingly put on hold as another Alien project, the follow-up to 2012's Prometheus, Alien Covenant, was taking the forefront of production and Fox's time and money. Not wanting either of these films to draw attention away from one or another, Fox decided to place Alien 5 on hold until, at least after, the release of Alien Covenant. These events were backed up by statements from Michael Bean himself during an interview on the 18th of November that year with the Icons of Fright. All was not well though, as it appeared Neil Blomkamp did not appreciate his film being put on hold behind another. The thing he had to come to understand though was that he was playing in the master's ball pit if you will when it came to Ridley Scott's Alien Covenant. That coupled with him being a new and up and coming director, led to him having a momentary loss of sight of the reality of this situation. And that was that Fox Studios was always more likely to back a Ridley Scott film over any other Alien project. And so it seems hard feelings was had between the two, as well as Blomkamp and Fox Studios. Things seemed a lot less optimistic for Red Harvest, however it remained, awaiting its moment to shine. Alien Day 2016 came and went with Blomkamp showing concepts of an older and mature Newt to feature in his project, alongside aged veterans of Hicks and Ripley. 
More information and rumours begun to suggest a return to the original derelict spacecraft, which would occur in some form. And that there would be many new xenomorph types and even strange biomechanical armours being developed. By whom though? Was Wayland Jutani to make a return, or was it something else? And up until uh, May, things seemed to be moving pretty well, however at a slower pace. A notable release of concept art for Red Harvest came from uh, Carlos Honte, a frequent concept artist to the Alien Universe and a friend of our channel. His designs depicted a frightening array of drone xenomorphs, likely to have been considered as creatures to appear as mutated xenomorph types throughout the project. However, little continued to release about the film other than this, and now it is just a matter of time to see what information came next. After the release of Alien Covenant in cinemas in May of 2017, everything changed. Whilst many fans did embrace the new film, the return on the investments made by Fox was simply not there. It did not make enough money at the box office for Fox to immediately jump on another Alien film. This rippled out and by the end of 2017, on the 27th of December, Blomkamp made the depressing announcement via Twitter that his Alien project was never to be, and that it was all but canned while simultaneously sharing with us a collection of concept arts that pertain to the set, characters and environmental design that was to feature in Red Harvest. The year of 2018 remained quiet on the Red Harvest front. That was until the 3rd of October when Mr Blomkamp shared with us via Instagram a rather peculiar looking xenomorph drone of some kind, possibly in the process of becoming a queen. The photo depicted a sculpture designed by the amazing people at Studio ADI, and it sparked a lot of interest among the alien community once again, as to wondering what the nature of this creature was and the role it had in the film. Further concept art that trickled out from various artists around the time hinted at a round of experimentation performed on xenomorphs in the film resulting in strange and interesting variants of the creature. But the first really meaningful and interesting updates for the project came on the 30th of November 2018. At this time, Sigourney Weaver stated that there was in fact a completed script of Alien 5, and that 20th Century Fox had paid Blomkamp to write it, and soon after, it was none other than James Cameron himself that voiced his interest in returning to the Alien franchise by helping produce Alien Red Harvest. However, due to Alien Covenant, the film was put on hold. Later on, on the 7th of February 2019, Cameron came back to say that he was again working to see this project rekindled, and have Red Harvest come to fruition. So you might think, that would be it, it's going to start up again and it will be produced, and that the production would go into full swing. However, the unfortunate truth was that it was too little, too late. As of the 20th of March, Fox Studios was purchased by the Walt Disney Company, and in a single move, the project more than surely met its end after four rough years of hopelessness and doubt. Why do you ask? Well, it's quite simple that Disney is not a risk taker. They find what works, and they bring in the big dollars, and they double down on that. Sadly, a concept like Red Harvest and even the Alien IP in general simply holds too many unknowns and risks for Disney. So much so, in my opinion at least, to never let it see the light of day on the big screen in terms of Alien Red Harvest. The only glimpse we have seen since is released concept art for a vessel similar to the Cheyenne dropship from Aliens, known in the concept works as the Sky Crane. Ty Ruben Ellingson was responsible for the commission and he released these on Alien Day 2020, seemingly our last insight into Project Red Harvest. And with a reliable source citing that the project is now completely dead, I think it's time to lay to rest the idea and the vision that was Alien Red Harvest.
Before you all go off though, there are two more important things you need to know, with the second of which a, a potential final avenue or final hope for the project to be released for us to experience. However, first of all, I wanted to bring up the main reason uh, I myself and a lot of others had a problem with this film in the first place. And that is that it would wipe away a whole bunch of canon alien material. Not only just two films in Alien 3 and Resurrection, but things like the alien RPG likely wouldn't survive this because of the inconsistencies that would appear. And a whole bunch of expanded universe lore would now become irrelevant. I think that this is a massive mistake and is my main concern for ever having this film released. But if they could do it in such a way as to state that Red Harvest was simply not canon or simply a bit of fun or what if movie, then I would be fine with that. But for all the flaws of the latter films, whatever you think they are, and even the problems I have with them, would you really have them completely done away with? Because I'm sure not ready to make that decision so lightly. And finally, even though we might never actually see this film come to a cinema near you, there is still hope. With the emergence of a new trend by Dark Horse Comics, of taking unproduced screenplays from the Alien and Predator universe and transforming them into beautiful graphic novels. There stands to be a final chance for Red Harvest to survive, in a way that keeps everyone happy for the most part. A few examples already uh, having this treatment done is the original screenplay for both the original Alien and Predator films, as well as that of William Gibson's unused script for Alien 3. None of these are canon. They don't mess with the current universe. However, they are a great read to see the possible ways that the franchise could have gone. So I hold on to hope that one day, hopefully in the near future, we will eventually receive Alien 5, or the title I prefer, Alien Red Harvest, in the same format as these thrown away scripts. So that one day, even though it might not be canon and it won't be on the big screen, we will still get to experience this unique story in graphic form and add it to our extensive Alien collections. But only time will reveal what comes of this ill-fated project. Before I go, I wanted to let you know about the Acheron Colonial Marketplace, the one-stop shop for all Project Acheron merch. Here you can pick up shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone cases and more. So if you want to support the channel and look good doing it, pick up some Acheron merch. But what other videos would you like to see? If you have any ideas or have any questions, please leave them in the comments or contact me through Twitter or on the Project Acheron Discord. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video. And if you want to really help see this channel thrive and grow, as well as gain a bunch of awesome rewards for yourself, consider becoming a patron, such as Christopher Dussinger and Ambrosia leaders of the Project Acheron Hive. I hope to see you all here again very soon, but until then, this is Project Acheron, signing off.